Alrighty. We're back. At it. But yet again. Back in the hardcore modded Minecraft world. Took a bit of a break. <laughs> a bit, bit of a gap between the last video and this one. Um, it's for several reasons. The first reason being I was working on the Evolve video. So I was trying to focus on that and get that out there and uploaded. But the second reason and the bigger reason of the two is we had a pretty close call. A uh, pretty close call in the last episode. Uh, nearly died. I was at like one and a half hearts. And we barely, barely survived. And that left me a little... A little spooked. A little scared, I'll admit it. Um, but, <laughs> we're back at it. Back in the world. And I'm not really sure what I want to do this episode. I was thinking about it. I went back and rewatched uh, the video in preparation for this just to get like a brief refresh of what was happening. But uh, there was like a broken nether portal a ways out there that has obsidian that I want to mine in order to get my enchanted table, enchantment table set up. So that is my priority number one, getting to that broken nether portal, portal over there. Um, but other than that, we'll we'll see what happens. Let's get it. It's still running and it's nighttime. Okay, we got our chests organized a little bit in the meantime. Uh, just like I had a little bit of downtime, so I thought might as well. But we're just gonna sleep through the night now. And it's still raining. Okay, no, we're good. Rain has ceased. Look at all that. Look at all those mobs down there, bro. That's the camel. Like, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All in just that one spot right there. It's ludicrous. Okay. We're gonna wait a little bit. Wait for those guys to all die. And then we're gonna head out there. In the meantime, I'm gonna make another sword and another shovel for myself. Just in case I need it. Um. Okay, we're gonna head out. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna be so paranoid now. You guys don't even know. Like right here, just needs a torch right here. That's the death sentence. Torch all this up. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take. It's gonna take a while for me to regain my courage. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's get our camel out. Crap. Okay. Come on, man, don't sit down. Get up. Okay. I feel a bit safer on the camel. Put the torch right here. That's where he came from. I feel safer on the camel because I feel like I can outrun most things. But still, <laughs> still a bit paranoid. Okay, we're gonna head to the portal. Kind of want to build a bridge right here just to make it easier to cross um, this river with the camel. It's fine if I swim, but with the camel, it's like a little bit tedious. I'll just build a quick little, quick little dirt bridge, just for the time being. Perfect. We got a little bridge set up here, so now it is a little less tedious to get over this river. Perfect. There's that evil, evil ass. Ah, pumpkin over there. Jack-o'-lantern, I guess, dude. See, I'm... I don't know. I kind of want to... And the whale despawned. I want to... Part of me wants to Google uh, and, like, look at the wikis for some of these mods just so I'm not, like, entirely clueless as to what some of them do. It is becoming nighttime soon, I think. I'm gonna actually... 
guy's still here. We're still cool. Um, <sighs> perfect. Yeah, you just sit here. Um, I don't want to spoil, I guess, the surprise of finding out what each thing does. But usually, <laughs> I do that in non-hardcore worlds. And this is a hardcore world. And the learning process in modern Minecraft involves dying often. And... Obviously, since I can't do that, a part of me wants to just look at the wikis for some of these mods, like uh, the Born in Chaos mod and Alex's Cave, especially. Um, I want to know what some of these mobs do. And I, that's why I like this Animal Dictionary, because it gives me like an in-game way of learning what the mod does, which I think is really clever. But like that pumpkin, like I have no idea what that pumpkin does. And unless like I find like a book somewhere that tells me what it does, then I'll have to look it up or I'll have to just gear up and pray that it doesn't spawn like a boss or something but yeah in the meantime we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna sleep okay it's daytime do stuff to be a little careful we good we're chilling got a burning mob over there other than that looks like we are in fact chilling let's get on the camel Let's go to that portal. I think it's over there somewhere. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay. I've seen that mob before. It's like a little head crab creature. It doesn't burn in daylight, which is a little annoying. Let's see if I can take it out from a distance. Okay, three bow shots. Perfect. Did it drop anything? Nope, just XP. Okay, that's fine. Where's my camel? <laughs> this, <laughs> my camel is my safety net, bro. I need him in order to survive. <laughs> I still have to think of a name for him as well. Okay. Here is our obsidian. Um, I'm gonna water bucket all that. Don't want to fall into it. I'm a little paranoid that something's going to jump up and try to kill me. So I'm going to do a quick sweep of the surrounding. Okay, I think we're good. I don't see anything harmful. So we're going to start mining this obsidian. Let's get to it. Okay, we got our four obsidian. Uh, perfect amount. We have enough for an enchantment table now. Now, the debate is whether or not... I stay here or head back home and by stay here I mean continue to explore I'm just gonna head back home I'm just gonna get this enchantment table down um, I think that even honestly enchanting like our iron armor and our iron tools and like our just our normal bow is a worthwhile investment because you know like I want to have that safety net of of good gear when I'm going to go caving eventually um, I don't want to save my XP for, you know, <laughs> for my next hardcore world. <laughs> another thing is, um, another thing that I realized is uh, a lot of the mods that I've been using, uh, at least like the main ones for the mod pack, such as Alex's Caves and uh, Born in Chaos. You have, you are really far from your home, bro. Um, they, they've been getting updates. They've been getting actually like pretty big content updates. Um, and I'm, deba I'm debating whether or not I want to actually add those as I go. Um, I don't know if I should do that or if I just should save it for the next world. I don't know. I'm kind of still debating. I kind of want to update the mods as I go. But a part of me feels like that'll maybe mess up my world. Um, maybe I should save it for the next season when I die. Because, you know, it's a matter of when, not if, bro. We'll get it twisted. Um, but still debating that. If you guys have any thoughts on that matter, be sure to let me know. But yeah, no, the updates look really cool for Ox Cave especially. Definitely want to play with that stuff eventually. I wonder if you can tame these kangaroos. Here, let me check real quick, actually. I don't know, I'm here. Um, kangaroo. Large, neutral, hopping, let's see, 
Not pushovers. Okay, they will attack back. Good to know. Tameable with 10 to 15 carrots. Okay, I'm tracking. Alrighty. Because, you know, I don't think <laughs> my camel gives me the best protection against hostile mobs. I feel like the kangaroos definitely will be a little bit more well equipped. Ooh, got a little bit of cobblestone right here. Dungeon of sorts, maybe? I see a little bit of cobweb poking out. Um, don't want to go right now, but I'll keep it in mind for the future. Alrighty, we're back home. Got the resources that we need to make this enchantment table. Um, there it is. Two diamonds. It's like this, right? And then got the four obsidian, and then not that book on top. Perfect. Okay, we are set. Uh, I don't know if I want to enchant my sword right now. Um, I don't even know how many bookshelves I need for max enchant. I haven't, I haven't played vanilla survival in so long. I don't even know how like just basic stuff works. Um, I'll probably enchant my armor. Uh, I don't really know. What is the benefit of going for three? Is it like, does it give me like random stuff? Um, okay, that's just protection one. I think it has a chance of giving me different things. Like the higher level enchantment I do. Um, but I don't know if it's worth it. Definitely don't want unbreaking one. But might give me something better, I think. <laughs> I'm kind of wish washy on this. I'll probably go. Yeah, okay. That's just projection one. Yeah, see, I went for three and I got nothing. Is there any difference between these two? I mean, it has to be, right? There has to be a difference. There has to be. Let's see. Yeah, see, okay, so you do get something else, potentially. It's just look at the draw, I guess. Perfect. Okay, uh, I feel a little bit more well-equipped. Should I upgrade pickaxe? I don't really think I should touch my pickaxe, honestly. Um, bow. Yeah, no, I think, I think, ooh, Skulk Smite. That one's new, right? I think that's new. Um, I don't think I'm enchanting any of my other tools. I think I'm good as is with just my armor. So, yeah. I think I'm going to leave the episode off here. Um, bit of a... <laughs> Bit of a shorter, more uneventful episode, if I'm going to be honest, but still <laughs> easing back into it from my paranoia. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to rush anything. Um, but yeah, we're going to leave it off here. Thanks for watching as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.